The following podcast contains spoilers and profanity. Hello and welcome to episode 36 of the Half and Half Podcast. I'm your host, Clem Walker, and with me as always is Mars Reviews, or with me as usual, actually, as I could say. I'm Mars Reviews, and you're not. Well, Mars, I recorded a thing. I recorded a thing without you. That happened recently. Dang. Yeah, it's called the Half Podcast. The Better Half Podcast. The, be- the Better Half Podcast, because there's only one for a black person on it. You're over. You're overpowered. Overpowered. I'm uh, finally. <laughs> No, but uh, I yeah, I did a thing with uh, two friends of mine, uh, Gary Tremarki, who so you might know as the creator of Failing Upward. It's pretty cool. He's nice to hang out with, talk to. Uh, and we did it with our friend Front Porch, if you remember him from the Into the Spider-Verse podcast. It was pretty fun. That guy's not a friend. He's, he, he's, no, he's, a, he's, a, he's a creature. He's just like a person we laugh at. Yeah, he's a creature that we laugh at, just for our amusement, really. I'd he's say a so. creature that like, screams at people about Kino and like... Uh, and whatever, like he, he, he basically spouts gibberish about like Destiny and Sam Raimi Spider Man. He keeps shoehorning Sam Raimi into everything. That is a very good. That is that is a very apropos thing. That it is something he does for query often. I have a question. That is actually one. I was like, I wonder if Ports did even watch Evil Dead. I uh, he said he watched. Yeah, he watched DA. You know, he did. He watched the first two. I don't know if he, I don't think he watched Army no. of Darkness. So he did. Funny. He, he, if he, he did watch the tree rape scene. Yeah, he did see that. All right. All right, Ford. Be funny. Oh, yeah, but it'd be funny if, like, yeah, he only likes Sam Raimi because of fucking Spider-Man and didn't give a shit about the rest of his filmography. Yeah, that's what I was under the impression is, like, Sam Raimi. He's Spider-Man. He is, he's the Spider-Man man and nothing else. No, he, no he's, the, he's the Oz and he's the Oz great and powerful man and nothing else. Yeah. Porch is a is a human. Yes, but yeah, we, we, we recorded a thing on Kevin Smith's new movie, Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, so that happened. Uh, probably gonna, it's probably going to be uploaded to my channel pretty soon. We're going to have that on the Anchor podcast thing, though, too, so you can listen to it there. Why are we here today? Why? why oh, why well, we we're here, here today? today. You and me. Why don't we here. bring the church out today? We, we, yeah, we brought the choir out today so we could talk about... We can continue talking about our horseman, the man, Bojack. We gotta, suck, we gotta do our... Uh, we gotta suck what? Sucking of horse cock. <laughs> sucking on horse cock, yes. <laughs> okay. Wow. I mean, as w- what it is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, I guess so. Yeah, I guess. So I, I guess it is what it is at this point. I mean, it's like a tr- not a tradition, but it's fucking like we've we've, we've talked about Bojack for a bit. We've had like the three yearly episodes. tradition where we go. The down, yearly tradition. Glum flies uh, down to Kentucky. I take him to the farm and we just <laughs> suck gigantic horse cum down okay. our throats. All right. <laughs> is that what you look up? Is that like is that your is that your newish fetish? No, nah, that's been there for a while. Bro. All right. Okay. Yeah, but we're talking about Bojack. We're talking about uh season six. Part one of season six. Uh, yeah, part one came out just about a week ago uh, at the time. How old is a, how old is Bojack? I never. Really, Bojack I know it's like is mid 20, 20, 2010s. How Bojack, old is it? What was Bojack came out. Bojack came out in um twenty fourteen. Dang, he's already grown up and became an adult. Yeah, he's already he's already in kindergarten. He's already five. Uh, but no, he's like yeah, he's yeah, Bojack. Yeah, Bojack. We're that's talking about crazy. It is actually like a, crazy. That's only a, that's, that's like a well, I guess it ends in twenty twenty officially, but it's like. That's a six-year run, and, it, and its presence has uh, made his name in, like, six years. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah, definitely. I guess we can say the same for Rick and Morty, but, like, Rick and Morty is, like, a little bit, like, they have only, like, four seasons. Bojack has, like, six. It feels like uh, six and a half, I guess. Six and a I half. Guess. Well, I mean, like, I say, guess this uh, is one six. It's just one season. It's like, yeah, six and a half. Yeah, six. They, they're pulling a Sopranos. They're putting, like, both the season and parts. Even though it says, yeah, Sopranos has, like, five seasons, even though, like, the last season, like, they, they basically cut it in half. Yeah. Um, well, we have, like, a, we have how many videos? We have two. We have, like, a, we have two or three. Two or three. We have we three videos on Bojack, because we did the part, the first one we did was, like, all three seasons to catch up, because, like, it was, like, oh, season four is coming out. Then we did season four, and then we did season five. Yeah. Um, pretty much all of them, I think we like them quite, we like the show quite a bit. Like, the show is, uh, ever since it's... The start of it is like, yeah, it's a little slow, but ever since then, it's just been going up a notch a little bit, a little bit. Some seasons are a little bit better than the others, but like the show has a uh, quality. It's just like, this is the probably the weirdest glow up I've ever seen for a show. Yeah, I would These say so. People fall off after the first season. Oh yeah. But uh, this season, what did you think of this, Glenn? What did, how uh, did you feel about it? I felt, I thought it was good. I thought it was good for. Uh, I wouldn't say. I don't know. It, it felt kind of 
This this this, this entire season felt incredibly low key, up until the end. Yeah, it it wasn't as uh, a little less like insane shit like the other seasons, yeah. but uh, I think that this this part of the season was really enjoyable because yes. it uh, it answered a, it answered my one of the fears I thought because the way how it ended last time was Bojack going into rehab. Yes. And what I thought that entailed was that uh Bojack was going to get most of the spotlight within it. And that's and, and Bojack is the best character, he's the titular character, but like uh the problem with that I would think that all these other characters would just get fucked out. Yeah, yeah. Because like when we were when we watched season five, we weren't under the impression that the show's gonna end like like that. Like we were. Yeah, because that, that, that. I that, thought that. I guess that bleeds into the whole controversy, even as well. Of like. Apparently, like, it was like uh, Netflix canceled. There's a lot of things going on that was like it was ended and Netflix canceled it. I think the recent thing is that Netflix canceled it. People thought that they canceled it because of the union. Apparently, that's just coincidental. I don't. I don't know. Um. Some person that was working on it said otherwise. I don't know. I know, like Aaron Paul, like kind of confirmed that it was just like Netflix canceled it. Yeah, Netflix was just kind of like done with the series. I don't know. I guess I don't know why. I mean, like maybe the union stuff. No one really truly knows. Yeah, yeah. But when we were left off of season five, we were under the impression. What I thought was, uh, this isn't going to be the end. And with this one being the end, my biggest fear was that uh, everyone's going to be, like, uh, fucked off. Fucked yeah. over. Like, Mr. Peanut Butter. Uh, I think Princess Carolyn was the one that was, like, she's going to get fucking fucked over. And Diane would get fucked over. And in this one, the start of this one, they pretty much get a lot of that out of the way, I guess. Like, all the yeah. side characters kind of get their... Uh, every, every, I think most of the side characters have their own episodes, or, like, at least half of them. Like have like a, I, have like a B plot or an A plot. Yeah, they some of them get like I guess like uh, yeah. they get some development, they get some uh closure under their in their stuff. The um I think Princess Carolyn was probably uh the character that I really enjoyed the most in this one. Yeah, I liked her. I liked the like her little arc a lot because like the whole thing is that she's a mother now because she adopted a child last season. The entire last season she was trying to no, the, not the, the yeah it was the, it was last season where she was trying to have a child right. Yeah, and then she's like, I think she's, yeah, she's like infertile. She can't have children. Yeah, yeah. But, then, but she used to be a lot of, I don't know what the fuck happened. Like, why am I watching a bunch of movies with bitches can't have babies? Like, I watched Raising Arizona, like, yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, or like a couple days ago. And I was like, <laughs> what is going on? I, I, it just felt like a whole, like, I, I, month of, like, women just having, like, fucking, uh. You fucking say that, and I watched up, like, a couple <laughs> weeks ago, and then, yeah, that happened the fuck is going i i get that as like com uh, this is it's a little common people can't oh, everyone can have babies but it's just like yeah it's just like it's just a re it's just a it's just a common fact of life it's just reality what's going on with my viewing habits and <laughs> the inability of reproduction <laughs> what a shame like, I I get, like I, not being able to reproduce is like really like it is really tragic really fucked up but i, I just like all these movies just movies and media just gravitated towards like Dang, I have a miscarriage. I or fucking, something. You, you, you mentioned that. It's like I watched the first episode of that new Watchmen show, and like the, it's like I don't know. I kind of, eh, I don't know about that show. I was like, because we were talking like the black cartoon like server, and I was like, we we're talking about like Meet the Browns and Tyler Perry movies, and I was like, oh yeah, and Meet the Browns is a storyline where like someone gets like a fucking miscarriage, and it. it's like, wow. Okay. But this whole uh, ladies out there that are listening to this probably not. Uh. I d yeah, I doubt that. Yeah, Princess Carolyn, like, her whole thing where she was, a, uh, Or, like, yeah, there's a lot of complication with being a mother and not trying to balance her. Taking care of her... Taking care of her porcupine. Yeah, I don't know why the fuck... The fucking porcupine, I would've... If I was her, I would've yeeted that shit out the window. <laughs> That's, like, the whole thing, because, um... Because last season, she... Or, like, the whole... The, it was actually kind of fucked up, but like the, cause like you know, Bojack it lives in a in a world where like humans and 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 animals can actually like reproduce together, they can have kids. And it's like the fucking the, like a, the the woman she adopted the fucking baby from, it, it was like his the dad was a porcupine and the mother was a human. Like you can imagine that. Yeah, that'd probably be like terrible. Yeah, yeah. this is a really good episode, especially how it was like done out because they have this uh, little effect of uh, her basically like everything going on. Like she has like little like shadows of her doing it, and you just see like. At first, I was yeah, a little was bit like, annoyed because my ears were a little bit like fucked up, but it's like uh, I just in realization yeah. like that's pretty cool. It was just it was a pretty good style of that, yeah. 
Yeah, I think that has like the. the yeah, but you had like, you had animated that. portion. I guess we talk about we talk more about Bojack just being in rehab now. Yeah, it, the rehab part of this one is what's gonna make the show so painful by the end of oh, it because fuck. Bojack Bojack in the first episode and g- further. He's actually, uh, he's not cured by it, but, uh, he's pretty much, like, he's developing. He's no longer, uh, he's learning to he's, reject he's not, alcohol. He's not, a, he's trying to be not, no longer self-destructive, no longer, he's trying yeah. to be, like, less of a dickhead to people. Yeah, he, he, yeah, like, he's actually, like, this is the, this is the night, this is the nicest he has ever been. Like, this is the most pleasant and kind. Yeah, this been. entire season, like, he's trying to help people out, and he's like, she's like, I'm trying to, like, kick, kick this, this. Yeah, like the thing first thing is like he's helping this uh, a little bit against the whole fucking thing, which there are some criticisms of actual rehab to fucking be made. But uh, he accepts the treatment and he's starting to actually use use it to help other people. Like this other like teenage fucking like the teenage kid is mom. fucking up. Yeah. Um, and he's going like even he's like realizing like this is ridiculous. He's just going out of his way to help her, and it's like oh fuck. And I think all the stuff where it's like you see uh, more flashbacks. I think the most interesting thing about the series is learning things from the past. Like, oh uh, yeah, like the the whole like, the whole first episode is like talking about like Bo like Bojack's constantly asked like, hey, what was your first? No, no, it wasn't the first episode. Like the one of the episodes where he's in rehab, which is like Bojack, what was your first interaction with alcohol? It's like I just I don't want to talk about it. And like you see flashbacks of him like as a teenager, and it, like he actually starts to get younger. And it's like, yeah, he sees his father, like, ha- having an affair. And he's like, oh, yeah, hey, hey, son, you're a man now. I drink this alcohol. I don't think it was – I don't remember if it was in the first episode. But, like, uh, one of the things – you would think that this would just be, like – it's been, like, stated over over time. But, like, you would think, like, characters like Sarah Lynn would just be, like, a throwaway character that would just, like, disappear. No yeah, one remembers. Yeah, because she's, dead, like, she's uh, been dead for three seasons now. She's been dead for three seasons but then you realize uh, in this one a little bit more on why it's so painful because uh, even when she was like an innocent child within this one, like uh, Bojack is ta- not exactly, but tangentially uh, responsible for like her uh, okay. destructive, like yeah. uh, in her life, like uh, the whole shit when he got into like that one coworker gave him alcohol that yeah. fucked him up. It kind of like repeated the cycle because she got into his shit. Yeah. And then, like, now that you have that realization, it makes that, like, oh, that character's death gets way fucking, like, sadder and sadder. Like, yeah, the more the you more find out about on. it. Because, like, yeah, like it, when it first happened, it was, like, really sad. And you're like, yeah, Bojack basically caused this, but he didn't really get any consequences for it other than that she's dead. But, like, everyone's starting to, like, kind of. The, the, the whole season now, like, everyone's kind of, like, vaguely investigating it. And it's like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's what makes this season, like,. Uh, I want to say this is my favorite one, but what, I think one of the things I really do like about it is that uh, I like that they split it up in parts. I was originally against it because uh, I thought it was like, just release it all. That's the Netflix model. But like, I'm actually really glad that they put it in parts because now it makes me sit there and think because uh, oh, by fuck. the end of this one, everyone, uh, Bo, like the show basically is building up to like Bojack, uh, all of his shit just coming all his dirty laundry just coming back at him oh, all yeah. at once oh yeah and like every like fucking wrongdoing not every wrongdoing but like a lot majority of his, like, the, wrongdoing. Like the major ones yeah like the shit that happened in like i think season four with the the, the, the fucking uh the deer. The d- deer deer daughter in like arizona and shit um some shit that like uh in like the last episode that he did was that um, am i forgetting that one with that one guy that uh what's her name uh oh yeah Collyhawk. with like he was talking about yeah with that black guy yeah, uh yeah. was that ever that was a thing that was like, a thing right? that Maybe. happened yeah what, what season was that, what that was, i think was that was like see i think that was season four i think it was either season season three or season four i think like yeah you like that had that big bender yeah, the stuff with him like the shit with gina which uh that was last season gina, like last season like all that shit is gonna come back and the ending of that is just like it's just gonna be his yeah, whole like, rehab he's his whole rehab is just gonna make it like because he actually changed like everything about him like he's grown like even in his appearance like he changes his hair and yeah, he doesn't like, he doesn't great. diet anymore yeah it's just it's like it's just all leading up to him getting canceled <laughs> Yeah, well, not. I don't even think that one. I think that Bojack is just gonna. I don't know if he's gonna like drown himself in the pool or anything. Yeah. 
it's just like holy fuck like yeah, the, the whole build up to that was like and we have to wait yeah, like a couple months to see the resolution to that I hope that, that resolution is gonna be fucking like wild yeah I hope it's I, it's either gonna be him killing himself I don't know what's gonna happen I wanna say that he kills himself but I feel like that's a little bit like I don't know everyone I'm assumes like, this was gonna happen so it'd be good if they kinda change our expectate or like subvert it but I don't know. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if that still was just the case. I'm six. I'm seventy on kill himself. Thirty percent that they would like do something though. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he just like runs away and goes to like uh, I don't know fucking Madagascar. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if that's a. I doubt that's a thing. No. I don't think that's a good good way how to deal with that. I but. don't think so either. But um, yeah. There's there's other thing. There's other things that happen in the season. <laughs> Yeah, there was, like, a... We were doing commentary about, like, a... Well, not commentary. Well, some of it is commentary, but some of it, uh... With other characters, like... Like, not even, like, the side character... Like, the side characters get, like, development, but, like... Even the side-side characters, like, uh... That one fucking director that's, like, really, uh... The director lady? Yeah, the director woman. Name? Yeah, she's, like... She's hired to, like, do the new Captain Marvel or some shit. Yeah, and just, like, how, like... How fucking, uh... Shit filmmaking kind of is today. Yeah just like shit with that it was like i didn't even think that we'd really even get that character in the season well she wasn't she, she only really showed up at the end that was the final episode or final season. yeah she was yeah i mean like i was just thinking that we wouldn't even even really get to see like yeah. anything that like develops with her in the season at all um yeah mr peanut butter he's kind of she's still doing his thing with pickles what did you feel about that stuff ah! with that with that with that uh that plot line <laughs> I I feel pretty if, I'm a little bit iffy on it. I'm I think a little bit like, iffy on it. I guess it was a funny episode, but like, I yeah. guess I'm just so, so yeah. The the whole thing is that Mr. Peanut Butter is like trying to because like la- last season he ended up cheating on this this his new girlfriend, which is a pug named Pickles. He ended up cheating on her with uh with his divorced wife Diane, the the other side character. It's like he's been basically he's he's been, been having a lot of guilt about that, and yeah, she's just, she's just trying to find a way to like hey I'm trying to like come out and like say that i did this to her this like very very jolly jovial I get, I, pug i don't know what my problems with this one really is i guess it's just because like uh i just don't like pickles <laughs> is that i don't know if that's a valid thing it's just like i just never really truly enjoyed this character i guess I, I don't know i don't know really know what my problems with this one is it's like i think it is interesting of uh how they would like him cheating on with Diane again and like some of their shit that's going on, but like I don't know, man. Like the pickles stuff was, I don't know. I just felt like it was just kind of weak. I guess I don't know. I, li- I like the episode because it was like pretty funny because like how they were uh, just hiding within just his like hiding house the entire shit. time. <laughs> like that was pretty funny, like visually just looking at that. But like I don't know. That was just like one of the episodes that I didn't really cared all that much for i didn't mind it i thought i thought i thought i had some pretty good jokes in it um i did i did i do kind of like the the vague resolution for that so yeah mr peanut butter he tells the girl he tells pickles that like hey he's been cheated he cheated on her once and she's she's she's, she's, she's was like yeah she she reacts she's just kind of all right with it she, 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 like, she, 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 at first like the whole episode she reacts like she's incredibly mad she's he's like a blogger on like instagram or whatever and he, she's like telling her whole life story and she's I like, like that yeah, part the, where she just keeps like she's not finding success and she keeps finding like uh switching to different platforms that's right. i didn't mind that I, I did what do you think of the resolution of just the resolution of like you know, he tells her that it's like, okay, the only way you can like re- you can be forgiven for doing for doing this is if I cheat on somebody. If I cheat on like forty guys, just forty different people. It's pretty funny. It's just like uh, it just goes on to display that Mr. Peanut Butter is a emotionally like inept person. Yes. Like probably the most like emotionally and just like just inept and just in general. I, I always I always just enjoy Mr. Peanut Butter. He's he's still my favorite. Man. I enjoy him. I just was just like I didn't, like he, all the times when he was fucking on there. Like when he was on the episode with like the face of depression, yeah, where he became the face of depression. He became the face of depression, was, like, face of depression hilarious. because he looked sad at one point. And they just do like a riff on the sad Keanu meme. Yeah, I don't know. I just just not into the pug. <laughs> Is it because you have a pug in real life? I'm probably be colored by it. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. I was just like, uh, I liked her parents. Cause I thought that was. Funny. I did like her, but like, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> That's pretty good. The uh, what, how did you feel about all, like Diane stuff? What was your? Did you like any of that? I stuff? did. I actually didn't mind that because, like, you know, I think we. I know you didn't. I know you you haven't really liked Diane that much in the past. So no, I, I feel like a lot of I feel like a lot of people have issues with some of her stories. Yeah. This one, this one. I, I don't know. I liked it. I liked that she went to a. Di- I like that one that she went to Chicago. A different location. Yeah, she she went to a different location. She went to the look, last she, one. Yeah, she went to Chicago. She met Lakeith Stanfield Bo- uh, Buffalo. I was wondering who the fuck that was for a while, yeah. and I was like Lakeith Stanfield Bull. Yeah, Buffalo. He's a Buffalo. It's all he. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. mind. It's like he's trying. She's trying. She's starting a new relationship with this cameraman because they have like a online political show where they like kind of like trying to. Uh, Get through all the like, show people the bullshit they're like, they're, they're, they're in their lives. And she's yeah, like, yeah, she's uh, like, they're trying to like take down this like megalo maniacal corporation, the, whale, like, the, the whale, like the yeah, the, like it's basically like white a, whale, yeah, the white whale monopoly corporation. Yeah, white whale is a, I know white whale is a term. White whale is a term. Basically, I think it's for like billionaires, like yeah. Uh, and it's just like yeah, the whole thing is like the they're trying to like. Yeah, they're just basically trying to take down this like monopoly that like because they have like a bunch of shady shit like oh yeah and it, it basically just turns out like oh yeah we yeah i had this guy killed because that's like a legal thing we can do in the country now it's a law you can kill if, if you're a bit if you're rich you can kill anybody yeah a lot of them were just like uh sort of socialist talking points yeah they were like oh fuck that's interesting <laughs> I don't know how Netflix feels about that shit. It feels yeah, fucking it's like, funny. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty like me and Netflix. This yeah, it's it pretty, just feels funny that they're yeah, like yeah. It's like there's, there's two different talking there's, about there's, that there's, fucking, like, there's two different shows. There's like BoJack that's making fun of like shit like that, and then the the boys which is like making fun of uh the, this like standardized like uh, companies that does that shit. And it's on Amazon Prime. <laughs> it was like, damn, Bo, like BoJack and the and Birdie got canceled, and it was like. Oh, uh, I guess we're already going down. We'll just put in whatever the fuck yeah. we feel like. Just fuck you, Netflix. Thank you for giving us a home for like six years, but we're done with you. You said what? Fuck you! Get off my platform. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I I I, I it was it was fine. It, it's not the. I would say it's weaker than like the BoJack and the. Uh, oh yeah. Carolyn stuff. Yeah, but like but for like, uh, like, I think it's her. It's probably her best subplot that she's had in like all these seasons. I would, I would say so. In a while, in a, in in a, a while, in a while, in a while, I guess. Like, I, like, I felt yeah, like I I've been very I, disconnected with her, like drama going. Yeah, I liked her for a while, but like, I liked her. I, I, just, I think one of the things that I really liked was that I really liked the the Lakeith Stanfield like character. Yeah. And it, I don't know. I felt like it was interesting. I feel like it was just interesting that they gave him like a son. Yeah. You never see you never him, see but him it was just him. like, it's just like, oh shit, my son's here. It's like, can you can you crawl weird. out the window? Yeah, just like how protective he is of him. Just like even like little things like hey here's this jacket we're, we're in fucking cold chicago you don't have a jacket on because you live in la yeah like he seems like a like a uh legitimately like nice guy nice like, no, but really kind of like right. flawed because like why the fuck do i have to keep giving you my jacket yeah he's flawed like uh would you say that i don't think he was like like manipulative no like, like a, just like kind of sense. vaguely misguided like on like terms yeah. of yeah but uh yeah, uh, well, the Diane stuff was like, yeah, it was pretty interesting. Where she just kind of like, all right, uh, she's kind of dealing like he's not the, at this point in the thing. I would say Bojack is the most depressed character in the entire series, but at this point, she's basically it. Bojack's kind of like healing from his stuff. Yeah, a little totally bit. Nice. And her dealing with it was like, all right, that's pretty good. She's taking her pills and stuff. Like, it was a nice uh, resolution to a character who has been. Uh, you know, sometimes a little bit of a, a little, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, a little bit, uh, you know, she's been through the ringer in a little bit of these yeah. seasons. You know, she's kind of fucked with some people in the in the other seasons, but she's been kind of uh, going through a bad time and seeing her actually kind of uh, happy with this new relationship is a little bit strange because she... Yeah, she's, she's not she kind of gave a half committal like, at the start of it, and then she was a little bit more into it. Yeah. Like at the end of it, like she's staying with him in Chicago, which is a good thing for her, I guess. Yeah. At this point, um, yeah, it was cool seeing that. Uh, the the weak the weakest thing in here, I think, is the Todd stuff. Yeah, that's usually that's usually yeah, the feel, case. That's usually the case. 
I feel like Todd's like whole. I feel like his like the shit I can get from him is just like used up. Like is just squeezed out. I felt yeah. It's uh, like you, you. They didn't really go into anything. Like I mean, like they kind of did some serious stuff with him. Like not too much. Like not like the usual stuff. Like they didn't even like really. I feel like you could like do more with his character. Like go into like how he feels about his act, actual asexuality. Like because they tried doing that, but they kind of just dropped it. Of the fact that I think they just, only mentioned that once. They mentioned season. it like twice. I think. He's like, oh, I have yeah. a, I'm on this dating service. That's like asexual people. There are there aren't there aren't many people on it. Has it like? Was- that was a, I'm trying to remember last season like that was a that's been a plot for a while like I think like the past three seasons has been like his asexuality and he's had like two different girlfriends yeah I just don't really think he has any real like anything really to do that much like he was like his whole like his whole role in this whole season was that he was a babysitter he's a wacky he's a, like the whole thing is like he's a wacky guy he's like a wacky adventurer or whatever and he has like really like, he has like his, his shenanigans he did the whole thing last Last season. Yeah, like he's he did two things. He was a babysitter, and he uh, he, he sold his kidney off, and he was trying to get his mom help his mom. Yeah, but he also caught. He have also, a strained relationship. He also like vaguely caused like the assistant strike. That's what happens this season. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, that, that, was, that, that got resolved really quickly too, and I didn't really. I don't know. I, I, I felt like that could have been better. Yeah, that caught. Yeah, that was kind of like a point in the season where I thought it was like a little bit. Yeah. A little bit weird. I didn't mind the concept. I think that was kind of funny. Like all these assistants leaving, like no one knows what the fuck they're doing anymore. It was, it was a right, but yeah. yeah, I just felt like the resolution to it could have been a little bit better because it just kind of stops after like Princess Carolyn talks to that one guy. Yeah, his whole stuff with his dad was a little bit uh, a little bit too fast. But yeah. I don't know. Didn't really go anywhere. How it kind of resolved was like, uh, all right, I guess uh, he didn't really. Yeah, it just feels like Todd's place in the story is just like his is just like less and less as it goes on. It's like, oh, because I think the next season with this one, the way how it ends with all of the shit culminating with BoJack, I I would hate for Todd to have like a have like a big moment. I feel like Todd should just fade out and like have like a very little little thing going forward. I, don't know. I feel like he could just still. I feel, I feel like. There's only a couple episodes. Yeah, there's only left, like so there's like, only like ten more episodes left now. Yeah. I guess it's too late now. That's what I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, just like yeah, everyone, everyone's like, it's everyone's getting it to a point where like they're happy with their situation. Like you know, Princess Carolyn has a, you know, I, I would, I, Princess Carolyn has her daughter and she's trying to take care of her and she has like a good job now or like she's she's she feels less stressed with her job. You know, you know, every, Diane's in a better situation. Princess Peanut Butter and his and pickles are are, are in a uh, decent standing, even though they're still gonna get married. He's he's letting himself get cucked. Everyone's in a good situation. Bojack's in the thus the, means that Bojack has to die. Yeah, Bojack. Yeah, Bojack's <laughs> in the best. Omen. Bojack's in the best situation he's been in this past like couple seasons. Like he's finally like feeling better now. He's finally like coming to terms with himself. It's like I. He, I think that the next season, I feel like they they've gotten most of the stuff with these side characters out of the way. Yes. So Bojack so, needs to take the reins for the next whole season. Like I want to see these guys. But I want to. But the focus better not. Like, like, you know. Do you, do we think everyone else is gonna get fucked along with Bojack, like Princess Carolyn? No, no one. Uh, like, I, I don't. I don't think necessarily. I think it's just gonna be like, I think everyone will be happy, but Bojack will just remain. I was like, yeah. You like, think you think Bojack? You think Bojack's gonna kill himself because like he's like a model for like his. The, remember the Secretariat guy? Like he looked up to for the longest time. He made the movie. He was he started the movie about him. It's like, you know, that, like, guy, uh, that guy killed himself, the Secretariat. I guess Carolyn will be, because she's, like, his agent, so she'll, she'll have a presence in it. Todd will, too. I think Diane's in Chicago now, right? Yeah, but, like, you're still, we're still probably going to see her shit, though, and, like, her reaction to a lot of things. She's, she's, she's probably like, going to come back to LA probably, for, like, a day or something. Like, Bojack will probably, like, kill herself, and you'll see, like, a thing, like, a reference to her, like, watching on now, TV. Netflix, if, he, if you're, li- no, no, they're not fucking listening. Uh, Maybe, I don't know. No, they probably don't care. But, uh... I don't know if Bojack doesn't kill himself. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be that'd be interesting to see if he doesn't. I just don't. Really, I I just there's like a shred of doubt where it's just like he's not gonna kill himself. Though it would be like it's everyone points out like the intros and like him drowning. So yeah, I guess probably kill himself. The intro. Way, the intro to this season was really good. It's like what? It was. Like, it was. It was like all. I mean, the, every every season Bojack has had like great intros with like. You know, they, like, kind of meld together or, like, show things that are happening progressively. But, like, this one's just, like, kind of going through his life in general. 
Like he's going through everything. I feel like that's just like a heavy indicator he's probably going to, because like I, I haven't killed myself, obviously, but like I feel like when you kill yourself, uh, you probably start thinking about the past and like things that you probably messed up with, and then you go forward with it. Yeah. At least that's what I believe it is. Because yeah, like Bojack, kill Bo myself. Bojack's done a lot of shit. Like we we mentioned that whole list before of like you know he tried kind of like almost having sex with with a, with a minor. Uh, he fucking. <laughs> He got Sarah Lynn killed because of her, her drug bender. Uh, uh, he killed. It wasn't that one guy. His uh, director guy. He uh, what was this whole thing? He died of cancer. Yeah, he died of Didn't cancer. Didn't he get the show canceled? He got the because show canceled of, uh, because of that. Um, um, fucking what else was he had? You, the, we mentioned the one kid with Holly Hop. Oh, he got the one. He got the one guy in the series. Uh, he's not. I don't know if he. I think he's an alcoholic now, but not not really because of BoJ, but kind of. Oh like, yeah, the one that also the other one that killed himself. Yeah. What other one? Remember, remember that one actor, like when he was working on like uh, the Secretary movie, that one guy who killed, got himself killed. Oh yeah, because yeah. like, uh, like Gina, uh, Gina is basically just has now like just permanent PTSD. Oh yeah, because yeah, she she yeah, because he fucking choked her out. <laughs> Should have died like immediately. <laughs> Horses yeah, like, are strong. I mean, we talk about that like in the first. I think we talked about that like one of the episodes. Like, yeah, Bojack's having sex with these women like on top of them, and he's like a thousand. They mentioned the show. He's like a thousand pounds because like a horse is fucking heavy. It's like all right. They don't have the Family Guy joke where you stand behind a horse. Yeah. Versus Carolyn walks in behind know. him. What do you? Her in the face. What do you want to see in the next part then? I just want to see Bojack. I want to see Bojack. I want to see a bunch of uh, flashbacks to his life and a lot more of a uh, trauma. I want to uh, I, yeah, because the flashbacks we had here, like you know, we mentioned before, the the one with his. Alcohol. I want. You know what I want to see? You know what I want to see? That wasn't in this thing. I want to see Bojack and his mom again. Okay, I think I think we. Could, I was actually okay with like just seeing his dad and like how the fuck he just like literally just walked in on his dad having an affair. But yeah, his his dad is uh he went to his he's dead, but um. Uh, his mom's now like in the home, right? I, what? Uh, I'm trying to. Remember. Her mom, his mom. Wait, his mom's dead. His mom's right? dead. Oh yeah, she's. Oh yeah, I forgot she fucking died of the fucking video. Um, I want to see flashbacks with him and his mom. I guess that okay. a little bit more with that one. Be him and right. his whole family. I forgot that she fucking like up and sh ate shit. Um, if there's one thing, I remember. I, I remember see. she was in the intro, and yeah, I had yeah. me thinking like, remembering like, oh, yeah, she yeah. probably left. Yeah, she she died. Yeah, she died last season. That's where they had the whole churro episode where yeah, they, they, they didn't it. win the Oscar. Yeah, they lost um, the Simpsons. We talk, I think we talked about that. That's that's correct. Um, <laughs> I want to see more horsing around. A little bit more of a horsing around in a yeah. I mean, could, like, or at least have like a, like one of those actors come back and like see Bojack. Maybe again. that one like a uh, makeup artist that he was talking to. Maybe yeah. or but one person. Yeah, a little he, bit more. He, with her. Yeah, we could because he he saw her at the end. Uh, I want to see those two detective characters at the end of the season improve because I thought they were a little bit annoying in the first part of their uh, their introduction. Oh. I thought they got better over time, but like they were a little bit annoying. Oh, like the Vaudevillian like, like ones, when the one like a New York guy from the thirties. Yeah. I don't know. They were yeah, they were okay. I if there's one thing I want to see next season, I want to see I want to see the mouse guy. I want to see the mouse guy come back into Princess Carolyn's life. I want that. I, I want. I want, I want that to be the happy ending. I want that to be like her thing. I want that. I want. I want that to happen. <laughs> I swear to God, because like last season, you just kind of fucked off after like after that. It's like, God, God damn it, he loves you. I want to fuck it. I want to see that. That's that's my end game. I don't really want to see Todd. I don't. I don't yeah. really want to. Yeah, really Todd. Todd, see Todd has been like. I kind of liked him at first, like in the you know from season one, like season two, like he was he's kind of charming, but now it's just kind of tiring. Like he, it feels like yeah. it feels like it feels like he hasn't actually grown that much. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Like you know, he, he, it's cool that he's comfortable with his asexuality now, I guess. But I feel like you can delve more into that. Uh, I just like yeah, it's, it'd be nice to see some more good serious stuff that's like actually done well. Like if he talks to his mom and like actually sees her. But yeah, other than that, yeah, I just don't want to. I don't want to see more goofy shit with him. I want to see Mr. Peanut Butter. I want to see him. I if I uh, I think a lot of their stuff, a lot of stuff within. You want to see Mary Pickles? Oh, that gotta happen. <laughs> oh, I mean, like they gotta have the wedding. Like, I'll, oh, yeah, I'll so say yeah, this: there's gonna they're gonna have a wedding, and then something fucked up's gonna happen. And oh yeah, probably that'll probably be no. the that'll probably be like a catalyst. Probably yeah. You, you know, you mentioned it. 
He's probably gonna leave her at the altar. Oh, shoot. I want to see. I want to see everyone. I want. They're gonna do this. I want to see everyone in full force come out with their shit about BoJ. I want them to be talking this shit about online. I want them to talk to them in person about their fucking shit. I want the press to be all up in his ass. In his ass. In his. That's ass. what I want to see. In his ass. All right. Yeah, but uh, otherwise, this this season, you like this season. Where do, oh, I guess we should put where a rank would. Be. Where would uh, okay? Season one, I would guess, is at the bottom. Uh, yeah, guess, just yeah, because yeah, season season one was like this goes. Yeah, I guess. Um, I don't know if I like it more. I remember than, saying I, I remember I remember I like season five a lot. I think I th- I think I said it was like my favorite season. So I guess I don't okay. Know. I guess that we can only rank it because this is only half, so it's not completely full. But where we how we feel about it so far, I think that this is a. Uh, it's falls and land into like the middle. I think I, would I enjoyed say, it. I said I like. I think I like season five, and then I like season four. I like a lot of the stuff that happened in season four. Yeah. Five, uh, four. Uh, I guess. I guess either. Yeah, three. I think season is just kind of like just put it in like a descending order, honestly. Like five, four, three, and then two, one. Yeah. I think that um, depending works. on how where how this like leaves off, it could probably be uh, better than like. Uh, I guess. Yeah, it could be. Was, it's or, possible. Like, like, it means, like yeah, this season's like really but, low key. So I'm just gonna. Kinda, I think I'll just put it like between, yeah. between uh, three and four. It's near a bottom part, portion of it, but uh, yeah, but it's, the yeah, how Bojack handles it and carries it the next uh, four. Yeah, that, that could. It change. could be up there. Yeah. It could be. It was pretty good. Right. I'm, I'm I'm happy with this season. I, I was I was I enjoyed it despite it's being like kind of low key. Not nothing really too crazy happened but that's for, that's for next part obviously so quentin tarantino give me your movie. death stranding review okay, give me okay, give me death stranding all right yeah but it's pretty good so yeah we'll look forward to that in like the next coming months we'll fucking do an episode on that that'll be cool i guess all right okay. yeah but other than that it's pretty good bojack thumbs up all right now let's let's do some questions now i guess we can all right, yeah, so uh, questions. If you want to ask us a question, be sure to join the Half and Half Podcast Discord page and ask us stuff in the questions and suggestions channel. You know, you, everyone will be added when we're recording an episode, so you can ask us then. And you, you know, be pretty much in real time, if anything, at least like the day or the day beforehand. It's pretty cool. All right, so, yeah, so we got some questions. Da, 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 da. From, uh, from CK Draw Stuff. Uh, question. What is the most underrated cartoon of the 2010 decades, in your guys' opinion? Uh, underrated cartoon in 2010. Symbionic Titan. Oh, that's a pretty underrated one. Um, uh, un- uh yeah, Symbionic Titan. Uh, Mystery Incorporated. Mystery uh, Incorporated. I, yeah. Some of these ones feel a little bit weird because, like, some of them get like a lot of press on Twitter, but like, I guess they're still underrated because no one was really appreciating. Yeah, like, how mis- truly like great they were Mystery Incorporated. Like, these are shows that are like one season. Uh, Dan versus Dan versus. Oh my God! Yeah, that fu- that yeah, show that, was great. That is the epitome of underrated. Uh. Of course, the Wander Over Yonder that I watched was yeah. really underrated and got fucked over. Uh, I guess like the the other one, Har- Harvey Beaks, you know one. That- Harvey Beaks, that's an underrated one. Um, this is this one's underrated, but it's been getting a lot of traction on Twitter, and it's like I don't gonna say it's obnoxious, but it's just like I just see it a bunch. It's just like uh, the new TMNT show that basically like, only yeah. plays like new episodes at nine thirty in the morning. Yeah, that one's like I guess because uh, no one's watching it. Yeah. And no one cares about it, that one. Mostly just, most just because I mean it's like on TV and shit like that. I guess yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty underrated. Yeah, the animation uh, I've seen, like the, the 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 couple episodes I've watched of it, it's pretty good. Yeah, like it looks fine. I yeah. want to watch it, but like uh, uh, I'll probably watch it on Hulu if when I get time because I have more time because I got some shit done. Um, yeah, Motor City is underrated, definitely. Steven Universe is pretty underrated. Legend yeah, of it's Korra. pretty underrated. Legend, yeah. Legend of Korra. I'm uh, okay, KO. It's pretty underrated. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty underrated. No, the, the Looney Tunes show. Uh, Looney Tunes show is a little bit underrated. Okay. Yeah, that's I would good. say so. That's good. Like, I, I, like it's the problem with this one is that I have such a really weird colored version of like what is underrated because like 
the saying goes, but if someone keeps saying it, it's underrated. Is it really underrated? I guess. Like, I mean, it's I like a YouTube I, show I all don't, the time on Twitter. Yeah, I don't fucking. Still doesn't really mean that it's not. I mean, like, I'm not even underrated. Like, the show's like incredibly popular, and it's like coming into its eleventh season. I've talked. I fucking talk about it all the time. Like Archer. Archer's fucking like no one talks about it, <laughs> like ever. Like, I've, I've I've heard no one like oh yeah Archer's like pretty alright. I've never I've never like everyone talks like when they talk about like adult animated shows they talk about like. Bob's Burgers, Rick and Morty, like the Archer's like one of those shows like no one really talks about, despite it being very popular. Yeah, I I, I guess it's because one it's on a network that no one, I don't know. <laughs> on the FX. FX, it's on FXX. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like that one. I uh, I don't know why, like because I give I give a lot of very disingenuous fucking like obvious disingenuous like shit takes on fucking Archer. Like it's fine. I just think that. Uh, just for what it is, like no one, no one really wants to give it a, that much of a time of day because. What if what if when it came out is decently popular, but like yeah, no one's really talked about it since, even though like the seasons have been pretty good. Well, I think it's just like people just laid off it because it's just been like a while. Like yeah, you like, know, it, well, you have you a show that has you... too many seasons that's not on a, that's not like it. It's liked, but it's not loved. That's what I would say. Like people love, like the pe- the fans love Archer, but like people overall don't love it like yeah. when people say like bob's burgers they love that shit yeah like they like bob's, Bur- bob's burgers that. is more popular than barcher adventure i'm trying like to think of ones from adult swim that probably be under oh ball masters ball masters 909 9009 that was underrated yeah. i think that's still going on um i guess i'm like mooching off of archer the fucking um moonbeam city was pretty good moonbeam city was like was pretty underrated it's Pretty freaking one pretty season. Good. Yeah. Okay. What's an what's another question? All right. Uh, da, 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 from trans- I like this one. Yeah. From transmission, Rory. Uh, do you find recreating actors with CGI to be disrespectful? Depends on real. It really I, depends. I I don't like it. I think yeah, I'm not a, a, I'm a, not a huge fan of it. It's yeah. It's not. I don't know. It's not like it's it's a. It can be, like, you know, thinking about it, it's like, yeah, it's groundbreaking that we can, like, bring a, a person, like, vaguely to back from from the dead to just, like, to, you know, act. But it's really scary on the other yeah. hand because it's like we could just, like, just replace money from these people. Yeah. Yeah, replace people. I think that is is mostly, I don't like the practice. I think that it is, uh, I think that the practice is really, uh, greedy. It's very, like, shit. Like, they're gonna have, like, a Whitney Houston fucking, uh, like... <laughs> Hologram, like, yeah, like, going a, like, around. A, yeah, like the Tupac, like, the Tupac and Michael Jackson holograms. It's like, it should, maybe, I don't really get, I don't really get that shit. Like, I can get it for Hatsune Miku in a way. Yeah, because she just, she doesn't fucking character. exist. Like the gorillas, like yeah. gorillas aren't aren't characters, but it's cool to see like those like ca- cartoon characters singing the songs. But fucking Michael yeah. Jackson's been dead for a decade. <laughs> Michael Jackson's not a character. So, here's where I would say I don't like it at all. I want to make that abundantly clear. I think that these holograms of real people suck. Yeah, that's those. If suck. the person states it into their will. That they want well, to. Like, that's the. Th- all right. Yeah. All right. Maybe if well, they want to be a the, that's thing all, that's, of entertainment for forever, then I guess. That's but the like, thing. If though. they state, I mean, like, no, I guess you can say the same off. thing of like, you can say the same thing of like, the, if you get the the relative's permission, but that's still kind of like vaguely disrespectful to the person. Because like, I think I think this guy's the, the, you know he, <laughs> he's mentioning it because like there's recently been been a thing that's like James Dean is going to be recreated through CGI for like this new movie that's coming out. I think the fucking whole shit with like, oh, I asked the parents like that's that is like, all right, you, if you're gonna have to go through some sort of authority, I guess you have to go through. It. But right. even then, I think that's fucking like well, stupid. Like, yeah, that happens like, all the that's time. not the person. Yeah, that's, that's not just, the. It's not the person at all. It's like you, they did they did the thing with like Japan. You know, Japan's like, hey, we're gonna ha- we're gonna fucking recreate Bruce Lee. We're gonna make a CGI Bruce Lee for this fucking like wine or this liquor. Yeah, it's just like yeah, like I don't. I don't like just said yeah. I don't like said Japan for fucking. Yeah, like C. I think he's yeah. He's Chinese. He's Chinese. You racist. Yeah, very. Um, yeah. Um. Yeah, I. I uh, it's like yeah. You got Peter Cushing. For if this. it yeah, <laughs> if it's not stated, that, that's one thing with the, the Prince thing because Justin Timberlake wanted a Prince hologram, but it states in his will that he never fucking wanted it. Yeah. That's why it looks so weird at the Super Bowl. But like, if they state it in their will that they want that. It's like you have, I guess like so. how can you but do like, that if like they're super fucking old like James Dean or like P- Peter Cushing for like the new Star Wars movie? Yeah, I, I don't know. I I just 
I don't really like that. I never what was this a grandma grandma Tarkin or whatever. Yeah, grandma, grandma. Tarkin, and then he, I mean you had you had Princess Leia, you had fucking well, Carrie Fisher. I mean she was still she was still alive for that. So she gave her permission to like have herself be younger. That's fine, but she you know she died like right after that. It's like it's yeah, it's just kind of eerie. That one's a, Carrie Fisher is yeah, it's just a eerie. That one, bro. I gotta make a fucking movie, and you just up and die on a plane. Yeah. I'm sorry. We gotta do something. Yeah. Like. <laughs> They had, they had to do something in that one, so I don't know. Yeah. That one's a little bit on the shady side. They're probably gonna have a like, little bit of that for that new last jet for the new fucking uh, Rise of Skywalker. Like they have to use like some like vague CGI for that. They have to. They'll like get a chick that looks like her yeah. and they'll just like uh, CG her face. Or like her, CGI like... just like replace her. That's just like you should have fucking killed her off, you fucking idiots. They can't. They never. They couldn't predict it. But like, I guess it's like you fucking use like last Jedi. <laughs> I feel like you should have just killed off all the old characters. Yeah. Still, just so, just for like uh, just, I feel like this is now just gonna be a thing for like uh movies where it's like if a character has like, if a person has a history of drugs or like health conditions and they're old and you're trying to do like nostalgia shit. You have to kill them because they'll probably die in real life, and then you'll be fucked if they go into a sequel. Unless the movie is like fully animated, don't fucking like make a CGI person. Yeah, because it's never gonna work yeah. out. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, the CG character thing is just like I I'm only into it's it. Just, if they it's just also, they it's, just also it's just also creepy. Just like fucking looking looking at like a real picture of Peter Cushing, like right yeah. next to the fucking CGI fake one. It's like you know which one's fucking real and which one's not. If, like, Elvis said that, like, oh, make me into a, a CG thing. He didn't know what the, yeah, uh, he did again. I mentioned, like, you don't know what the fuck CGI is at that point. Well, he doesn't know, but if he, if he said, like, keep me alive Use my no image matter what. And, like, in a vague fuck concept. with me. Yeah. You know, if someone went like that, then, like, I feel like that's going to be a thing a little bit more in the future. I think people are now, like, when like they're older or make wills, they're going to. Because Robin Williams has that shit in his thing. He said, like, don't use my likeness or anything. Not my likeness. Don't use me for shit for, like, 25 years after my death. Um, yeah, I feel like there's going to be some people that are down with it and some people that aren't in the future. I feel like a lot of yeah, people what if, are, like, are Yeah, like, what if privacy. Tarantino just had, like, instead of getting an actor to fucking play, like, a, a you know, Bruce Lee in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, he got the CGI one from that, like, commercial. Yeah, that'd be really weird. I just don't think t Tarantino like shoots his shit on film. Yeah. He's not gonna use CG like that. That's cool. I would like to see him do like CG shit like that because I don't think he, I don't think he dabbles in it that much. I think it's like all of his CG shit is like so subtle. <laughs> what if he was just like, completely incompetent and in telling people what he wants for CG, like a CGI movie? Yeah. That's what made that. That would have made like the fucking Star Trek movie so fucking weird. It's like. Quentin Tarantino, this is your first, this is your first real time fucking around with CG like this. How you feel? It sucks. I want to shoot on film. Why can't we have a real ship and make practical effects? This is bullshit. It's fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't like it. I think it's fucking awkward. Yeah. Uh. You can see. I'll, I'll give permission. You guys can CG me, and uh, no matter what you want for porn, Source FM videos or something. <laughs> yeah, someone make a CGI model of Marge of Use in SFM and have them fuck Tracer from Overwatch, please. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We, I'll change the. I'll, I'm gonna help Blizzard out. <laughs> Add some diversity. They really needed it recently. They really needed some we, some representation from from themselves. They needed some them some help. We can't add the black character because of over. That's what the fucking. Have you heard about the new Star Wars thing? What's the Star Wars? Thing? Um, there's like a I don't know, if, <laughs> like some I think Porsche sent this to me. Um, you remember Rose from the fucking from from Last Jedi, the the Chinese character, and how she was like uh -huh. she wanted she was all over all, all over Finn's dick. Yeah. yeah, so there was a there was a book. There's apparently like a book that takes place in between Last Jedi and this new one, and like literally po like Poe asks him like, "Hey, so like, are you like, are you go, are you and um, are you and Rose like together?" It's like, "No, we're just friends." And it's like, "Wow, wow, Disney, <laughs> the black guy can't get with the fucking Chinese woman." <laughs> we had, well, the Star Wars the Last Jedi. So I'm, so uh, like, I, coming I, the, in China. It was a pretty good fucking thing. It's like I saw like a tweet that was like, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sorry. Disney's like, um, we're sorry, China. It won't happen again. Oh. oh. Is it actually playing there? Because I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be down with it. Yeah. Oh. 
this fucking plane. Dude, I took a fucking plane for you. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking crashed into you so you wouldn't die. That's really funny. It's just yeah, like, she almost she fucking like... killed herself so we wouldn't die. And she's like, yeah, we're just fine. And she gets cucked in the she end. She just gets cucked. This... Oh, that's so shit. All right. Dude, uh, I have a fucking terrible spine injury. <laughs> the fuck you mean we going out? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, here's a question for you. From, uh... What if he was like, you stupid bitch? Fuck, I'm not, gonna I'm not blow interested you in ever. China, you stupid Chinese woman. Finn is just racist. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, they make him racist so they can finally, so the Chinese people can finally <laughs> stand with Rose. Oh my god. Alright, here's a question for you. From, uh, from Drake Wave Ching Mado? I don't know how to say that, sorry. But, uh, who's, your, who's the best NBA t teams? Who's the best team in the NBA so far? Uh. I guess who do you like? I don't fucking know who the best NBA players are. Or team. Uh, the Harlem the Globetrotters. Nuggets. Yeah, the Nuggets, I guess. <laughs> the Nuggets, the Bucks. Is there, there's a team called the Nuggets. The yeah, the Denver Nuggets. <laughs> Is that, are you serious? Yeah, that's what they're calling. <laughs> what? Because Nuggets are gold. I know, but like, it's fucking stupid. It's like a high school name. <laughs> fucking. We're the Nuggies. <laughs> We're the fucking ch chicken tenders. The, the Minnesota Tenders. <laughs> the funny thing is that their star players like some looks like he's fat and shit. The new so the, new, like the New York Buffalo Wings. The Denver Nuggies. He's been eating his nuggies. He's been eating his sucking chicken chicken wings. That sucks. I like. I now I now just like basketball more because of that name. Do you like him? Cause he he's fat and loves his nuggies. <laughs> he's not that fat. Compared to everyone else, I guess. Yes, I guess he's like overweight a little bit, but he's not like you say fat. I expect like I like the I like the story of just like with that guy. He was just like, you know, when I got to the NBA, I gotta stop ch drinking like two two liters of fucking Mountain Dew every day. Like, basically, it's like, damn, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> That's cool. Okay, uh, R. Walterson, question. In honor of Sesame Street's 50th anniversary, what's your favorite Sesame Street memory and favorite Sesame Street song? Mine is, mine is the Jamie Foxx one where he goes dancing mice. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, look, look up Jamie Foxx on Sesame Street and see his creepy-ass smile. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I, Sesame Street's pretty cool, but I, I, I kind of Sesame Street's kind of be, being pushed out of my mind. I have a lot of more Muppets memories than Sesame Streets at this point. Uh, I guess I, I just love er, Ernie and Bert shit. I guess I like the, that's usually my favorite stuff. Or just like whenever Kermit was on, like in the nineties, it's pretty good. Yeah, but like I just remember more more Muppets stuff. Like I like I like all the Muppets movies. Favorite Muppet favorite yeah. memory. My favorite memory was, uh, I think Cookie Monster's cookies are made out of, out of paper and yeah, shit. Yeah, they are. And I was just like, when I realized that when I was younger, it's like, wait a minute, he's not eating cookies? That's fucked up. It ruined my whole perception. It's, I think, yeah, it's fucked up that they had to make Cookie Monster, like, not, like, eat vegetables. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's, that's... That's cringe. Yeah, that's terrible. It's awful. He already has type 2 diabetes. Just let him keep going. He's still called Cookie Monster. Yeah. That sucks. Does he eat, like, vegan cookies? <laughs> Is it vegan cookies? <laughs> yeah. Right. Is there, like, a vegan on Sesame Street? Uh, I don't know. I know they have, like, the, the newest one was, like, a girl who's, like, her, her, whose mom had, like, an opium of addiction. That's, like, a new thing, apparently. Oh, did she get over it? No, she's, like, she has to be put in a foster home or some shit because, like, her mom's, like, in rehab. Damn. Yeah. Well, we have uh, one last question from Fishboy Gazer. Favorite Lego set and your favorite set you never got as a kid? Do you have an answer? Um, I think mine would just have to be the NBA one. <laughs> the, the like the NBA, the fucking McDonald's. Well, they have springs. They have springs they have on their springs legs and, and races looking faces. <laughs> yeah, I guess visible lips. That one. <laughs> that's the suck. Uh, is there a Death Stranding Lego? Death Stranding Lego? I, don't, I doubt that. I mean, that's why Hideo, Hideo Kojima, like, yeah, he loves Legos, so. I, could, I can imagine, like, he may, he had some custom ones made. 
I guess, yeah. Um, favorite Lego set? I don't know. I just like I like a lot of spaceships. I like spaceships. I think I like a lot, yeah. Like I like I like a lot of the Star Wars sets. Um, I'm happy that I I fucking I love Tie Fighters. I want to get more Tie Fighters. That's what I want. Those are fucking cool. But um, sets that I had, or sets I didn't get, I guess. Or I, mean, I guess like, well, not really a set I didn't get. I guess I guess I could tell the story. Fucking like when I I had like a big Lego Millennium Falcon set from like 2011. I, I built that shit like all the way. I built it. I built it entirely by myself. It was fucking cool. And like one day, like I don't know. I don't know if I pissed my dad off or I pissed my like one of my brothers or my or more, like, my cousin off. Like one day, it was just like completely destroyed under my bed. I don't know who killed. I don't know who who destroyed it. I have no idea. No one stuff fessed up to it ever. Yeah, I think mine would just be like the Emerald Train. <laughs> the Emerald Train. <laughs> yeah. The only thing was that it was just like. There was this news story, and this me and my dad were just basically just bullying this kid. The Emerald Train. <laughs> and he was just like, I've heard of this. he's like, he, he someone stole his Emerald Train yeah. or something, and we were just like, I don't know why. It was just not even funny. My dad was just going like, dude, what if we just called the Emerald Train? Just like a, it was just had a green shoe, and we just kicked his ass. <laughs> <laughs> just tell him that, like, I got your Emerald Train right, right here. Stomp train. on him. <laughs> That's all right. Um. I guess, I don't know, I was set that I didn't get when I was a kid. Um, I, guess, I wish I had the giant-ass Millennium Falcon, like the really big one. That's like a, it's like a thousand dollars. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. Well, that's the that's the Half and Half podcast. We're, we'll see you next time, hopefully, if it, uh, BoJack is not as... If, it, what will be we'll, our next time, actually? I don't know. We could do, we'll probably do another After Dark or some shit, just talk about bullshit. Yeah, that's the Half and Half podcast. We'll see you guys next time. You can yeah, well, listen to us on Anchor and all the shit. Yeah, listen to the Half podcast when that comes out or whenever whenever it's out. Then we'll see you guys next time. Mm-hmm.